Good morning, everyone. Uh, Pepper Madness back at you. Uh, I was going to continue on doing some uh, uh, ripping of that log there, ripping it into planks today, but it's raining cats and dogs outside, so what better time than to uh, fire up the old wood cook stove? So I'm just going to go over a few components of it with you. Uh, right in here, um, I'll show this to you later. Uh, there's no need to move the camera around right now. Right in here is the firebox. Right down here, there's some rollers in the box, and you'll see them later when I go through lighting it. And, uh, and of course a handle that goes with it all. And it just rocks, rocks back and forth like this, knocks all the ash, ash down into the ash tray, which is right here, into the ash box. Okay, that's really simple. Cover up. Okay, so up top here we have all of our burner lids. And you'll see that a couple of them are just a little bit different. This, of course, is the lifting handle for them. Okay, I haven't lit anything yet, so it's not hot. Uh, right, right, right here I have a three ring lid. Now what that's for is for when you want to make coffee in the morning. You just take off, you just take off one of these little rings, or inserts rather. Put your coffee pot over top and you get nice fast direct heat and perks your coffee quick or with a pot you can take it and the smaller pot will fit right in here like this the bigger pots I just take this whole ring right out and put right over the burner for a nice quick cook all right uh, a few little a few little uh, other components of this uh, of this particular um, of this particular model of stove um, over here in the back, we have a water reservoir. Okay, it's just a lid that you lift up right here. And you fill this whole tank right here with water. That, uh, of course, you can put your dipper in there and use it for hot water for your laundry and for washing and stuff. And it also helps uh, keep a little bit of heat going because these things burn out quick. Alright, over here in this corner... We have the flu, the flu damper. Okay. Right down here, way, way, way down here. Again, I'm just giving you a quick go around here. Right down here, we have the firebox damper, which allows more oxygen for a quicker burn up here, up here into your firebox. Alright, that's basically that's basically it. I'll uh, I'll continue on in just a second here with light the fire. Alright, I'm back again here. And uh, what you're looking at right now is the inside of the firebox. Now the rollers I was talking about, you can see them quite clearly. And I'm just gonna take the handle. I can turn I can turn one at a time. I usually I usually prefer to turn the inside one and that uh, that knocks all the ash down into the pit below, into the ash box. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I light the fire in this uh, cook stove. First things first, I'm going to take two, two, two smaller pieces of, uh, of firewood, not quite kindling size, um, about, uh, about an inch, inch and a half. Okay, I'm going to put them on either side just like this. Okay, almost almost to the back of the box. And I'll explain that to you in just a second. Now, if you put them all the way to the back of the box, you uh, you stop the airflow from the back and it'll only want to burn from the front. Okay? And I take some, you can either use birch bark, oh, pardon me, you can either use birch bark or newspaper. And I take a couple pieces of newspaper and I put them down in here like this. And then I take a few more and I put them up here on the sides. Okay. That should do the trick. Alright. Now I'll take some uh, I'll take some kindling. You can see the sizes of it, and this is nice fat wood, so it's it's got lots of dried out sap in it, so it should just 
spark right up really nice. Okay, so I go and I put it all on. I do a little bit of a crisscross here just to kind of hold stuff in place. Make sure there's air in between the sticks. All right. Again, this is how I like to uh, I like to light my fire. Um, this is not the hard and fast method. Uh, you just do whatever works for you. Okay. Now I'm going to use a little bit bigger of a kindling. So I get some coals happening on the bottom. Just like this. Now you don't want to go above your firebox, above this edge. Uh, I'm going to be going just a little bit. I'll be close to it. Okay, now I like to lean, to start leaning everything to the back so that when it all starts falling down, it'll collapse this way like this. And it seems to help, help with things. Okay, so the fire is ready to light. I'm not going to light it like this with the camera because I don't want to fill up the house with smoke. So, I'm going to show you what, I'm going to show you the next step in this. And the next step is not lighting the, is not lighting the, uh, the, the fire itself, but taking a piece, taking a piece of either birch bark or, or uh, a newspaper like this, you light it, make sure your flue, your chimney flue is wide open, you light it, and then you put it right in here like this, and let an air draw start to happen up your chimney. If you don't, because these old stoves, they're not, uh, they're not exactly airtight, uh, you'll have smoke coming up around all your around all your burner plates. Okay, so I'm just gonna back I'm just gonna back off here now and light my fire, and I'll be right back at you in just a shake. All right, back at you again. Here we're gonna spark the fire up, but like I said before, first things first, we should heat up our flue a bit. So I'm just going to stick this in here. You'll see a little bit of smoke rise here and there. That's because nothing's drawing up the flu yet. There we go. Move over a little. I don't know if you can hear that, but air is drawing up there now. So now I'm going to light my fire. down below okay you'll notice that I turn my handles to the outside away from the heat all the time uh, that's so when I'm that's when if I got to lift up lift up one of these uh, one of these inserts uh, I'm not burning my hand <laughs> or I'm like I'm not over top of the uh, of the heat itself so let's take that out and I'll put it back up here Okay, and all my flues are open. You'll see my bottom damper is wide open. You can see the air gaps in it. All right, I'll let it get burning. And uh, I'll come back to you with another video here on a, on a little bit of something we're doing. We're doing inside here while it's raining out. Okay, thanks for watching guys and take care.